Yo, what's good? It's your boy Sean LJE and this is Sean Appetit. In this show, I'm going to eat one dish from three different restaurants based on online reviews. Dan by the end of the show, kita akan tengok reviews mereka betul ke tak dan mana paling nyala. The DOTD is Korean Fried Chicken. Tapi guys, Korean Fried Chicken ni bukan fried chicken yang biasa-biasa eh. Sebab apa yang special ialah this Korean Fried Chicken is double fried which is the key to making it juicy and also crunchy at the same time barulah. Ah, usually Korean fried chicken is normally coated with sauce, soy sauce, garlic sauce depending on the restaurant and the first restaurant we're going to is Nanda Chicken. Jom kita tengok reviews mereka betul ke tak. Wait, Nanda Chicken man, let's read the reviews. Boom boom. It's a true of Korean chicken. Real Korea made it. The food is fresh and clean. Sounds like a Korean that wrote this. Huh? The place is nice and spicy. Soy sauce chicken is really good. However, the tomato glaze sauce is a little less of a kick. Aku kick kau gang. It's the most suitable for kids palate. Price wise, reasonable. Nice ga, nice ga. Love the spicy chicken. Truly awesome. Hey, bak sekali guys. Dah baca pun review mereka. Tunggu makan je sekarang. Oh. Okay. Sudah sampai. Soy garlic. Let's give it a try, man. Danda chicken. Tengok sedap tak? Uh, presentation dia okay. Nampak biasa-biasa. Biasa-biasa je. Tak ada nampak macam gempak gila. Ah, tak ada. Macam tak. Woi, gila. Macam tengok chaos sisi kan. Oh, cantik ni. Tapi orang putih je lah buat. Kita tak buat. Kita macam... Sama. Ini macam tu lah. Tapi kita tengok sikit. Dia punya keluaran dia kan. The external thing. The outside of this chicken looks very juicy, also looks crispy. Try, tengok betul ke tak? Look at how soft it is inside, you guys. I really love it because on the outside it's very crispy. Kulit dia memang crispy gila dan daging dia pun tender gila, guys. I feel like nice ah, but honestly, it tastes like a very fried chicken taste. Not so much of the sauce. Maybe the soy garlic punya sauce and I tak rasa sangat. Tapi, it's an acceptable chicken lah. But maybe not worth its price for me. Sebab ini macam fried chicken biasa je. Dia punya soy garlic punya sauce tu macam sikit je. Tak dapat rasa dia betul-betul kan. Normally, I taste ada yang rasa lagi pekat and what not. That's the kind of thing I'm sort of looking for. If I have Korean fried chicken in my mind, kita cuba rasa lagi sikit eh. Tengok dia punya dalaman tu. Uh. Tengok ni, ni kena rasa ni. Hmm. Uh, bapa kan. Oh! In terms of crispiness and juiciness, it's there. But in terms of the taste of the chicken inside, I don't taste the soy punya garlic sauce tau. The umpama dia macam ni. Bila kita beli chips kan, betul tak? Kita nampak paket dia besar kan? Ha, beli chips macam tu kan? Ingat, ui banyak ni. Kena makan. Kena kenyang ni. Buka je, puff, angin keluar. Gitu guys. Tapi one more thing I want to say about Nanda Chicken is that not all the chicken are coated equally. So, nampak off sikit lah. Tengok ni, tengok ni. Ini. Ini coated nicely. Tapi sini macam kosong. Honestly man, Nanda Chicken, it tastes very mild though. Dah, tak nak banyak cakap pasal tempat ni dah. Kita pergi tempat lain. Jom! Okay, kita sampai K-Fry, man. This is the highest rated place. Jom kita usah sikit review mereka. Betul ke tak? Let's go! Siu. What the queue? Can't beat any Korean chicken in town. Deserve my five stars. Mm. The best place to grab a bite. Great place for comfort food. Wow. I love all the food here. The garlic soy chicken is superb. Mm. Jadi kita dah baca review. Kita nak try dia orang punya garlic soy. Tengok sedap ke tak? Jom kita dig in sikit. Guys. Ooh. Dia punya wangi dia memang wangi guys. Lagi wangi daripada yang tadi tu. Dari segi keluaran dia memang nampak gempak gila. I mean it looks fried and double fried. The garlic walaupun tak ada besar-besar dia bagi kecil-kecil. Nampak cantik-cantik macam ni kan. Kecil-kecil kan. Style juga. And it feels very not as crispy but it still feels fried lah. Cakap pasal tempat ni sikit pun, keluaran dia, I mean, interior design dia pun nampak dah cantik. Vibe pun ada. Makanan pun dah ada. Jom kita makan sekarang juga.
Oh. Lembut juga time tarik tu. Rasa sikit. Guys, macam ni lah. Saya dah rasa sekeping. Dan saya rasa, this is the best one yet lah. I feel, honestly. Walaupun crunchiness dia tak lah, tak se-crunchy macam tadi tu. Tapi, it's acceptable. The taste is there, even on the meat itself. And what's, wow, this, this skin, the skin though. The skin, girl. The skin. Now, who says girls don't like skin? I'm talking about, sedap pun skin ni, guys. Overall, the whole chicken is a very well coated with garlic soy, you know. If you look at it properly, it's well coated and I taste the chicken, every part of the chicken tastes good. Kita buka sikit ayam dia macam ni. Oh, panas lagi ni. Sedap, bro. The meat is soft. The skin though. Guys, man, I don't know what to say, but the skin has really made me feel like this whole dish is worth eating. Dia punya skin punya rasa, dia punya flavor kat dia punya skin. It has a very a bit very sort of very spicy taste somehow. I don't know where it comes from the spice, but I still feel the spice a bit. But also the garlic, I can feel the garlic taste, the soy sauce, so I can feel it a bit. It's a very well-rounded taste, you know, like it's not too much, not too little. Tapi tak boleh makan banyak. Kalau makan banyak, aku rasa saya jelak tu. Saya akan rasa macam banyak sangat ni. But overall, just the chicken by itself macam ni, memang sedap tu guys. Bayangkan kita makan Mummy Monster kan dulu. Kita buka paket, keras macam Maggi Mee tu kan. Lepas tu buka paket tu, the seasoning yang masukkan. Buka. Rasa dia macam tu. Dah. Kita pun habis kat sini. Jangan buang masa dah. Kita pergi ke last location pula. Let's go! Okay, sekarang kita dah sampai dekat Kyochon 1991 Walaupun kita dekat 2019 Kita tengok Dah banyak tahun macam ni Sedap lagi ke tak makanan diorang Sebelum tu kita nak baca dulu reviews mereka Jom Order the three flavor sampler and garlic fried rice Great tasting fresh chicken Didn't feel greasy at all mm. Try the red series It's definitely worth it You can definitely get fresh fried chicken here always Recently here again And I must say I still love this place Quality for Korean fried chicken, this is one of the best. Need I say more? Question mark. Wow, ada lagi satu. Tak tahu nak letak ke tak, tapi kita bagi je. Quality had dropped a little back when they first started. You could tell the wings were fresh. Not a lot of red marks on the bones. Nowadays, it's still acceptable, though no longer as good. Baik, reviews pun dah baca. Tinggal lagi kita makan je, guys. Baru kita tahu. Low. Tahu tak low tu apa? Let go now. Low. Jom kita makan, kita try. Dari presentation dia nampak gempak. Walaupun sayur nampak sedih sikit. Tapi tak apa. Yang penting kita nak makan ayam dia. Air pun nampak gempak. Sedap. Okay guys, jangan buang masa lagi. Ayam dia nampak macam ayam brand punya ayam. Wow! It feels so crispy though guys. Tengok eh. Look at that crisp. Nice ya. Look at the juice coming out though. Kita cuba rasa sikit eh. Let's talk about the skin first. Kulit dia memang tip top. Tapi ayam dekat dalam tu, saya tak rasa pun dia punya marination of the soy garlic. Terus terang ah, terus terang, terus terang. Tak nak main cakap lah. Sebab kita dah last kan. Terus terang. Kulit dia terbaik guys. Memang nice gila kulit dia memang nice gila. Panas, crispy. Tapi apa yang saya kecewa sebab dia orang ni kan, dia orang ada soy garlic. Tapi soy garlic mereka only soy garlic. So, dalam ayam ni, dia rasa macam ayam goreng biasa tapi soy garlic dia kat luar je. So, daging dia memang rasa to me a bit ori. Macam normal, tak ada apa-apa yang special. Tapi, apa yang best pasal kyocok ni for me is the kulit and the smell. Tengok eh, dia punya kulit. Memang nice tu kulit dia. Kulit dia memang nice tu. See lah, I can break that. Tengok, kulit dia. Dia punya fried kulit tu macam macam kertas tau. That's why I say it's good man. It's very nice the way they do it. The texture of the skin is very good and very nice tu. Legit. Macam bila kita nyanyi kan. Kita nyanyi note macam ni kan. Kita tak tahu. 
sharp ke flat so dia rasa macam flat sikit tau dia macam tapi kena naik sikit bagi tapi jangan banyak sangat kalau ha, itu dah lebih dah faham tak? Ini macam tu lah. Ok guys, dah kita dah selesai kat sini. Kita nak wrap up dan kita nak review-review mereka betul ke tak dan tengok mana paling nyanda. Jom. Alright, it is review time guys. Jom kita tengok review mereka betul ke tak. Restoran pertama guys. Review mereka betul sekali. Memang nampak crispy. Daging pun nak tak tak ada. Sedap sangat. Dan review mereka memang betul lah guys. Tapi I have my own take on it. Bagi aku, it's not a complete Korean fried chicken. That's all I gotta say, man. Restoran kedua, review mereka betul sekali, my man. Tapi betul, guys. Memang juicy, memang crispy dan well marinated, man. It is really worth eating. To be honest, man, I think it's one of the best for me lah, guys. Betul. Restoran ketiga pula, review mereka tak betul, guys. For me, memang tak betul. Mungkin dia punya menu lain akan rasa sedap. Tapi apa yang kita order the soy garlic, hmm guys, memang tak boleh guys for me man. Kita pun rasa macam kita tengah makan fried chicken biasa ke makan kyochon guys. Dan bagi Sean semestinya K fry paling nyala. Kenapa kau orang tanya? Saya bagi tahu kenapa. Sebab it's well marinated, everything tastes good, environment pun cantik, service pun tip top. Macam tu dia orang senyum kat saya, ada ambil gambar lagi sebab dia tahu saya artis. Saya bukan nak abuse saya punya artis power tapi I tak I tak minta free pun. Saya bayar kot. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Don't forget to smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button though and share to your friends. Suruh mereka subscribe juga. This is Sean Appetit. Remember guys, it's always you and me against the world to fill our tummies. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs>